Hey guys, MattBrick16 here, and today I'm reviewing the new LEGO Ideas 21326 Winnie the Pooh set. This set is amazing. It retails for $100 in the United States, has 1,265 pieces, and is recommended for ages 18+. plus. This is an amazing set that just came out, so let's get into it. The first minifigure included in this set is Winnie the Pooh, and this minifigure is really amazing. He comes with a red balloon as his accessory, and he has a special molded head, which all the other minifigures in the set have, and it looks really nice. The printing on there really works for him. And he also has some really nice torso printing with his tummy sticking out of his shirt. I really like that. He also comes with dual molded arms, which it's nice because you don't really get that often with LEGO minifigures. And it's really nice that they included some for this set. On his back, he has some really amazing back printing for his t-shirt. And yeah, this minifigure is really amazing for this set. This set wouldn't be any of the Pooh without Pooh Bear himself. And yeah, this figure looks super amazing. The second minifigure included in the set is Tigger. He comes with one of these, which I do not know what it's called. And yeah, this figure looks amazing. He also has the dual molded head. And yeah, his stripes look amazing on there. He has some nice printed arms as well as a printed tail and some nice back printing. And he is a figure that has printing all over and he looks really nice. His head, they got perfect. And this is another really amazing minifigure for the set. Third is Piglet. He comes with a scarf on his neck that can be taken off. And I think this is the more accurate look for Piglet as he doesn't really have a scarf that often in the movies from what I can remember. But yeah, this figure looks really amazing. His printing is very simple, but very effective. It's really accurate and his head is really nice. It's a very nice mold. And yeah, this is another really awesome minifigure for this set. Next is Eeyore. This is a very meh minifigure. I'm just kidding. I was just acting like Eeyore. But this is another really awesome minifigure. He has a very special mold. It's one mold with a bow attached to his tail. And yeah, this is a really awesome minifigure with some awesome printing. He goes uh, across a 2 by 3 space, if you wanted to know. And, yeah, this is a really awesome mold for Eeyore, and this is really perfect for him. Here is Rabbit, and he comes with a carrot, which is a really nice accessory for him. And, yeah, this minifigure is really awesome. He has some nice torso printing there with the lines to make him look skinnier, and that's really nice. And then on his back, there is just some printing for a tail. And there is his face print, and that also looks really awesome. This is another very simple yet amazing minifigure that they nailed with this set. This set also includes a 100 acre wood sign. The sign itself has two stickers on it to make the arrow that points to the 100 acre wood. It also includes a honey pot at its base. It's empty. You get a bunch of these honey pots in the set, which it uses the cauldron piece with just a printing of honey on it. And it looks really nice. This 100 acre wood sign, Lego didn't have to include, but they did. So it makes the set really much more better to have a small little piece of scenery on the side of Pooh's house. And yeah. This is a very nice, minute build for this set. It's Pooh's house, and Pooh's house looks really nice. On the top of the tree, there's a couple beehives that you can spin the bees around. And it's nice because you get eight printed bees in this set, and they haven't really been in any other sets, so that's nice. Then there's some bushes right here, and they use some really nice building techniques that make the lo leaves look like they're actually on the bush, and it's just some nice detailing. There's some mushrooms right there, and then Pooh's door right here has a Mr. Sanders sign, and that's a really accurate detail that I'm glad they got right. There's a sticker that says ring also, which you're supposed to ring this doorbell. Of course, it doesn't ring because it's a Lego set, but it's nice that they included that detail. And you can actually push open the door, and then you can see into the interior, which we will take a look at later. There's a campfire and a log in front of Pooh's house, and you can put Pooh on the log. And that's a really a nice feature that adds to the play value of the set. And these are actually removable if you didn't want there to be a campfire outside Pooh's house. And there's a couple honey pots, which is really nice. On the side here, there's a root 
and that is a really nice detailing. The set is really nicely detailed all over the place. And then Pooh's roof is really different on each side, and that's really nice. They added some leaves on top and a chimney, as well as some planters. And then on the back, there's a ladybug right there on this planter, and th this looks really nice. And then on this side, it's pretty much the same thing as the other side. And then there's some really nice rooting there for the part of the tree. And then there's also a snail included in the set, so that's nice. And overall, the exterior of the set is really awesome. It looks really good on display. If you want to access the interior of Winnie the Pooh's house, all you need to do is open the set like this. And I'm going to start at the top, which first is Tigger's Locket. And that's a really nice detail. I'm glad they included stuff from other Winnie the Pooh spin-off movies instead of just the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh, the original one. And then here is some Pooh sticks. And that's a really nice detail. It's a stickered box and it has some sticks inside. There's also a few honey pots in the roof there and another really nice detail. On his bed, you can find a book that has the Winnie the Pooh with a honey pot on there, a sticker that says Ben A on the inside, and then Winnie the Pooh with a balloon tied to him on the inside for the book. So this is a Winnie the Pooh book. And then his bed is really nice. I really like all the detailing they have and as well as the curtains. And Winnie the Pooh can get on his bed, so that's nice. They have the Pooku clock there, which it's nice that they included a minor detail such as that. And then there's the table with the candle, the end table. Here is a chair with a really nice sticker detailing there and a picture of some honeybees. There's also a table there with a pot of honey and a teacup there, and as well as a furnace to burn wood and then send up the chimney. There's an umbrella there and a mirror, which it's really nice. And there's actually a sticker on the mirror, so it's reflective. And then there's a tea kettle and a teapot there, as well as a map of the 100-acre wood on the wall. So the interior is really packed with detail, and while closed, it's very tightly packed. With it open, it looks really nice. And yeah, the set looks really awesome. Overall, this is a really amazing set. If you like Winnie the Pooh, you should get out and buy this one as soon as it's back in stock on lego.com or in the Lego store. And I really think this set has five great minifigures and is packed with many miniature details from Winnie the Pooh. So, like I said, if you enjoy Winnie the Pooh, you should get this set. It looks really amazing. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please like my, this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one.